Hello and welcome to a short video from Absolute Game of Nerd. All right, as you saw from the thumbnail, this is a video um, I wanted to make for a bit. I just wanted to get everything in hand and ordered out. Um, but it is going to be the top 25 uh, cards in my Silver Surfer uh, character collection. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I started collecting Silver Surfer in the last year, and I think uh, I went a little deep into it, I, you could say, uh, you know. But uh, it's been fun, and uh, I really enjoy it. I think it's a great compliment to to the comics. Um, so, yeah, let's just get into it. So, uh, again, top 25 you know me, though. A lot of times I have caveats, so as you'll see, there's actually going to be more than 25 cards shown, but this is from 25 down to 1. So at 25, we have uh, the 1990 Marvel Universe Series 1, and it is the Fantastic Four versus Galactus. I just love the art on this. If you uh, uh, ever read or looked inside at FF50, which is the third part of the Galactus and Silver Surfer trilogy, this image is essentially what you see on the splash splash page, right? Obviously, um, it's it's this art here. Yeah, so I love I love this card. Uh, so great piece there at number twenty five. Uh, number twenty four, we have nineteen ninety four Marvel masterpieces, the Hildebrand brothers. I love this surfer. I think it's awesome. Like, um, if you imagine all the masterpieces that have the original paintings this one would be so epic um but yeah psa 10 here so far psa 10 on both those cards i should say my top list too it's a function of the art the aesthetic of the card the value all those play factors in some way heavily depending on the card and uh yeah um okay oh so the next so 23 is going to be a set of it's actually eight cards total four of each and it'll make sense in a second so 1994 flare uh and 1995 flare annual had some great um surfer cards and then in 2019 flare they did buybacks uh of those cards and so the surfer uh was involved or is, is on four of them uh two of them are silver surfer cards and two of them he's a part on um so to start off you have the 1995 flare annual i have the original base grade image psa 10 uh and then the buyback right the buybacks these are all out of 20 um and this is the psa psa 8 next one <sighs> oh, excuse me we have is uh legacy Legacy is a more of a random character, but in the card, Silver Surfer is right there behind him. And so we have the PSA 10 of the original and the buyback to PSA 8. And this is actually the uh, Omega, the 20 out of 20, um, if that kind of thing uh, is fun for you. Third one is the Infinity Crusade, right? So you have the PSA 10. And then I just had this one graded. It came back as a PSA 7. I don't know why it's a 7, but eh, whatever. Again, out of 20 card, this is 9 out of 20. Uh, what's cool about these two, right, they also have the thing on them. So they count towards my thing character collection as well. Um, and then, the, of course, the base called the Power Cosmic. So base in PSA 10, buyback PSA 8. Um, this was the first buyback I ever bought, 17 out of 20. And I, when I bought it, I didn't really understand what buybacks were. And uh, this card taught me that. Uh, so cool. All right. So that is that was 23, those eight cards. 24, we're going with the uh, Rittenhouse uh, 70 Years Marvel Comics. I just think that's a beautiful aesthetic of a card. Like, how awesome is that, right? Why I would say, like, this is one of my favorite cards art-wise, but value-wise, these things aren't, aren't worth that much. If I had it at 10, that would be because these cards are die-cut, so I, I don't think I've seen... There are PSA 10s of other characters, but I don't know if I've seen a Surfer one. Um, So, which number am I at here? 21! From 2013, Flare Retro, the TI-22... PSA 9, 
The only thing that bothers me is that the card has shifted because it doesn't fill out the whole card slot. I wish there was something they could do about that, but whatever. Um, they do have PSA 10s in this, but they are crazy expensive. Um, so I'm okay with the nine on that one. Uh, same also from 2013 Retro. Intimidation Nation. Cool card. PSA 10. All right. So that is um, the top. I don't know. That's 25 through 20. So moving on, uh, the next few are going to be from, again, Marvel's series uh, 1, 2, and 3 from 1990 to 92. So what number do I have this at? Series 2 would be number 19 on my list. This card just means so much to me. It's what started my love of the surfer. I had started collecting Marvel cards with Series 2, and my friend Jeremy, as I've told the story, got to school, handed me this card. I was like, whoa, that's a cool card. Who's that character? And then I flipped over to the back and saw those power ratings, and I was blown away as a fourth grader, and Silver Surfer instantly became my favorite uh, character. Um, so this is what started it all. Uh, from there, though, I do think his uh, Series 1 card is even better. So that would be number 18. And then best of those three, because I grew up on Series 1, 2, and 3, Series 3, classic Ron Lim Surfer, um, number 17 on my list. Love it. Uh, number 16, um, I've, I've in some of my previous videos, talked about my favorite cards now are these Marvel Beginnings comic cover um, creator autographs from their breakthrough issues. And so we have this one here is the Annihilation Quest autographed by Gabrielle Del Otto. Love that card. All right, moving on. So what is this? What is that? 15. Again, going back to 2013 Fleer Retro. Quick Strike. That's a PSA 9. This one too, like in 10, I always see it's like in the thousand. So PSA 9, A-OK. -okay. Um, where am I at again? I'm always at. Ah, 14, 2012, Marvel Premiere, out of 99, out of 199, excuse me. This is a PSA 10. This is a Pop 2. So that's that's very cool to me. So me and Fausto, Sketch Card Hype, is the only other ones that have PSA 10s of this card. Moving along. Number 13 is actually the Galactus Red PMG from 2013 Fleer Retro. Why? Got Surfer right there. Uh, I don't have any other PMGs. Um, I would love to own a Surfer PMG. They are super expensive. Um, so I've not been able to uh, get one, but uh, this one will suffice for now. From there, we've got 1994 Power Blast. Love this card. PSA 10. You see that great image on the front, replicated horizontally on the back. Very cool insert from 94 Flare. Um, from there, we have got uh, 2012. This is Marvel or Silver Surfer, the yeah, Marvel Bronze Age Heroes, even though Silver Surfer came out in the Silver Age, of course. Um, but the Surfer card, I think, is the best one of these. Like, that is an awesome, awesome card, especially from an aesthetic standpoint. Like, classic image from Silver Surfer 1 cover. With that back on it, this this card really hits a home run. Um, this is the Gem Mint 9.5 in the blue label. I could reholder this to get a black label Gem Mint 10, uh, but I really like this card with the the blue the blue label, so I'm good keeping it blue. Um, is that is number ten? Is where we're at next? Maybe. Yeah, number ten is the rookie card, 1976. Marvel superhero stickers. It says you will take this sh take a shine to me. It's PSA nine. Um, there are a few PSA tens. I think there's like seven, maybe even more than that. I've actually seen one for sale, but I got this PSA nine. Happy with it. Um, so yeah. All right, moving on. Underrated insert. I've talked about this before, uh, but it, number nine is these classic corners patch cards. These are also from uh, 2012 Marvel premiere. Um, I feel like it, on picture and a video, it looks kind of corny. Uh, but when you look at it in person, you see that those corners are actual embroidered patches. I think these inserts are dope. Um, so I really, really am a big fan of those. Number eight is the Marvel Mania 
membership card. This is from 1969. Yeah, 1969. As you can see, even though I showed the rookie card, this is actually the first card with Surfer on a card right there. Um, obviously, it's got Hulk, Spider-Man, Captain America, Doctor Doom, Thor, and Surfer. So, cool, cool piece to have to the collection. Uh, we want number eight. Uh, oh, no, that was eight. So, number seven um, is this Ron Lim sketch card. As you guys know, I'm not a huge sketch card guy, but I do dig sketch cards by the artists that published them. And Surfer is... The surfer I grew up on is drawn by Ron Lim. So the Ron Lim sketch card, gotta love it. Up next. Ah, uh, yes. Going back to the autos. Number six, 2011 Marvel Beginning Series 1. The Silver Surfer comic cover autographed by Joe Cenot. You can see down there in the bottom. Love these autos. There is a Stanley auto of this card. There is also a dual auto of Stanley and so uh, I was gonna say Stanley and Silver, Stanley and Joe Cena. If I could ever acquire either of those, that would be an ultimate grail card for me. Um, it would cost probably a lot of money, but if somehow I could find a way to find one that I could get, man, would I be over the moon? Uh, but yeah, I love even the C-Not though one is, 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 is great. From there, I think we're now in our top, is this six or is this five? Sorry, I keep looking at my list here. That was six. So number five is 2014 Rittenhouse uh, Marvel Universe, the Diamond of the Evolutionary War. So the Diamond is out of 10. So this is one of my few um, out of 10 cards. And of course, then we have the ruby out of 50 and the emerald out of 50 to go along with that. So very, very cool. That puts us at number three and we've got, uh, oh no, number four. We've got another diamond. This is the Evolutionary War diamond from the same set. So 2014 Rittenhouse Marvel Universe, right? Diamond out of 10. Emerald out of 50. Ruby. Oh, no. Emerald out of 100. Ruby out of 50. If I mix that up. Yeah. All right. Next two pieces are my two absolute favorite pieces of art of the surfer. Number three, 1996 Marvel Universe, the double impact insert. Like that to me is perfection, that card. The double impact, of course, has the dual sided card. So we have Captain America on the back. It's a phenomenal Captain America, too. Um, but the surfer, oh, goodness, this card. Um, all right. And then probably by this card, again, I would probably put it a touch over that card for my favorite art. Uh, it is the 75th anniversary gold border silver surfer. It's a shame. It is very detailed. That it is not going to show up well here on video. It is on my Instagram page. If you want to look at it though, this card is, this is the card baby for art. This is just awesome. Awesome. Uh, and last but not least taking the top spot. Um, again, the value here is really what, what lifts it above those last two cards there. But going back to 2014 Rittenhouse, this is their 75th Marvel um, set, the 75th anniversary. Diamond. Really great aesthetic on these cards, right? You've got the classic uh, Jack Kirby Surfer, which is from the cover of Silver Surfer 50, or sorry, Fantastic 450 that I talked about earlier, actually. Um, and then the more modern take on the Surfer in the front here. Love it. That of course comes with the emerald out of fifty and the emerald, or sorry, the ruby out of fifty, the emerald out of a hundred. Diamond, of course, if I didn't say it is out of ten. Um, yeah, those are my top twenty-five cards uh, in my Silver Server collection. Um, the cards that would kind of that I'm chasing um, that would go to the top. I mean, the three are the three Stanley autos, right? So I told you about that Silver Surfer one. 
That same set in Series 2, I think it is, has a Fantastic Four 48 Stanley Auto. Um, that would be a dream. And then my ultimate, ultimate grail card, I think, would be the 1996 Onslaught uh, Jim Lee Silver Surfer card. And there is a Stanley Auto of that. Uh, man, that would be the ultimate grail card. But anyways, that's what I got for you today. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.